Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, it's Monday. Yeah, I didn't put a video up this past weekend just because of, um, you know, I told you last video, like last week, I, I went home for, I wanted to be in five days uh, for the DOT stuff. Well, I didn't get back to work till Wednesday. So from Wednesday to yesterday, or, or Saturday, I did uh, 1,600 miles. So it was a nice, quick, pretty productive week, I guess, in four days of, of the pay period. So just in order to get my schedule back on track, because you know I've said it before, I like working Monday through, I guess, Friday or Saturday, depending on when my hours are up. I like starting my week on Mondays, uh, 6.37 a.m., just because I want to work in the hours that I can get a hold of somebody. And the communication, I've said it before, I will keep saying it over and over and over, the communication with Schneider is <laughs> not very good. After hours and the weekends, it's horrible. Um, it's just hard to get a hold of them. And when you, and I'm not calling just to chit chat. I'm calling because I got a problem. I like to get it all fixed or fixed quickly. So, anyhow, I'll, I like to work the hours where I can get a hold of somebody in my office, uh, team leader, and so forth. So, in case anything happens. So, anyway, I forced my reset early. I forced it Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. I still had like 30 hours left on my clock. But again, I want to get back on my schedule. So, I went ahead and went on a reset Saturday. I just came back this morning. Uh, today I want to pull on like 490 miles. I am currently at a shipper for a low, which I probably could have got this evening, but it's not scheduled to get until after midnight, you know, until the morning. And this place, I was reading my notes, this place does have parking for truckers. What is this place called? I, I, I can't remember the name of the place, but I am in Greensboro, South Carolina. Oh, I'm a heater. Heater, um, teeter heater. <laughs> Herman heater. What the hell? That gro It's like a, gro I'm pretty sure it's a grocery chain. Herman teeter, heater teeter. I'm pretty sure it's a grocery store chain in the area down this way. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's the teeter. It's the teeter. <laughs> wow. You, you know what I mean if, you, if you've seen the trucks. That's where I'm at. I'm the DC the teeter, the heater, heater teeter, DC in Greensboro. Um, I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina, yeah. Um, and they got a they got a big parking lot. So if you ever come here, uh, on the like it got it's got sign like the distribution truck distribution trucks go straight ahead. All of the carriers go to the left. The left is a big parking lot for all of us. So you know, you park here whether you're staying or not. You got to park here. You got to walk up to the shack to get your stuff. It's my first time here, so I just kind of saw the signs while I'm sitting here. When I get out, I walk out, and I walk up by four spaces. I walk to the shack, and I'm assuming I just get paperwork and go in and get my trailer, but all that. Because it's just a drop hook. I go drop this empty, pick up a load, and take it. Uh, I'm not going very far with this to load tomorrow, like 150 miles tomorrow morning. So I'm sure I'll have something else before tomorrow's up. So, But yeah, last week was a quick week. Uh, I'm back on schedule now, so I can start getting full paychecks. And I will say... I, even though I really do like Snyder, um, and I'm and I'm content with where I'm at for now, but you know I've always, you've always I've, I've always said money is not my motivator. It doesn't motivate me, right? But I'm looking at other options. I spoke to two companies today on my lunch or during my break great offers and it's one of those companies one is that I, I really thought I was going to go with initially I, I initially was like I'm going to go get some experience and I'm definitely going to go with him but now I don't think they're that as good as I I don't think I don't think I'm going to go with I don't I'm, I'm right now I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go, go I'm like 95% sure I'm not going to go that route because after talking to them today I was disappointed in what they had to say um some people have mentioned why am I staring out like when I'm talking. It's just because I'm just looking out in front of the truck. Um, and, the point, I mean, and what I hate is people looking right here when the lens is right here. If you're going to talk to the camera, look in the lens. Don't look at yourself in the reflection. Look in the lens. So, you know, I'm just out here talking. I'm just looking out this way while I talk. I'm going to get my thoughts together, get my words together. But like I said, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm at the point where money is becoming more a factor. Because... Regardless of what skin is on your truck, it's all the same job, right? Well, different. 
in whatever field you're in, if you're a flat van or a take or a dry van or a tanker or a reefer or flatbed, whatever. <clears throat> it's all the same job regardless of what's name is on the truck. So CPM is becoming more frontal thought of mine right now. So but Snyder's been so good to me, man. So good to me. And the only complaint I have is the communication aspect of things. It needs to be more direct. It needs to be more instant. I don't know. But I would be a fool but for not at least being open-minded and looking at my options. And what options are available to me. What options are out there. But again, money is not my final determination. I want you know good people, good company. You know, where am I going to spend the next 24 years of my life, right, for retirement? That's what I'm looking for. And right now it's just Snyder, and I have no, I have no quarrels with that. I'm also looking at different accounts in Snyder within Snyder because I really, 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 I've talked to my, well, my ICAN DTL there last week. I'm, I'm doing everything I can to stay with Snyder. But if there's an opportunity that pops up where I just can't say no to, I won't be able to say no to it. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Again, opportunities are... When you're in the trucking business, your name gets out there, you get offers every damn day. Every day you get an email or someone trying to contact you, a text or something. So, I don't know. But anywho, my week just started today. I'm at the end of my, or excuse me, I'm at the end of my day now. It's uh, 7.20 p.m. I'm going to just sleep here tonight, get up in the morning at 6 o'clock, go get my paperwork, and go get a trailer and head down the road. So, just giving y'all an update of why there really wasn't a video this past weekend, but uh, stay tuned. There'll be one later on. Have a good one, y'all.